right, y'all. Hi, Leela here. We're going to have lesson number five of our beginner clogging class. Um, so what I'm going to do something a little different. I was thinking about how do I graduate you folks? Because I usually have a, a graduation at the end of beginner class for my dancers. So I decided what I'm going to do each lesson at some point in the lesson, I'm going to give you a word of the lesson and you collect all those words. And at the end, when we're at a finish the beginner part, then um, I will figure out a way for you to send me your list of words, and then I will get a diploma to you that says you are a certified clogger. Okay, so today's lesson, um, let's go over, let's just dance through the steps we've done so far with a little music, and then we'll get to some new stuff, okay? All right, so, um, We've had all the basics, run, rock step, triple, four count rock step, push off left and right and forward, rock back is your push off backing up, rock steps are the, just the basic rock behind, okay, rock right and rock left is the four count rock step, you do extra rocks, turn to the right with your left foot for rock right, turn to your left with the right foot for rock left, okay. Basics in between or back to back. We have the slurs where you slide your foot behind. Okay, do those both ways. Hillbilly is the touch up with three touches. Okay, touch up is the touch up with one touch. Okay, and then brush, new movement where we brush, your toe brushes the floor and comes up. The vine, your triple moving sideways. Okay. And then the toe heel, just what it sounds like, touch your toe, drop your heel. All righty, so let's practice, try to get all those in there. Let's see what we, how many we can do. Five, six, basics go. When you get down the fiddle and you get down the bow, you kick off your shoes and you Two, triple. Dance in the kitchen till the morning light. Rock step, rock behind. Four count rock step. Rock three times. Basics. Push up left, double step, fall the kitchen, fall the push, push up right. Basics. Push off forward. Right foot, and a one, and two, and three. Basics. It's place. Rock back, back it up, double step. Rock, hold, rock, hold, rock, hold, double step, rock, hold, rock, hold, basic. Two hillbillies, touch up three times. Basics. Touch up, single touches. Touch up, double step, touch up, double step. Basics. Brushes. Double step. Brush up. Double step. Brush up. Double step. Brush up. Basics. How y'all doing? All right, now fine left. Double step. Double step. Double step. Rock step. Double step. Double behind. Double step. Basics. Rock right. Rock left. Extra rocks the other side. Basics. Rock right. Basics. Face front. Let's finish. Rock left. Two basic face front. All right. Nicely done. Good job. Okay. So, new stuff for this week. 
So we're going to do, um, actually we're going to build on three things that you already know. The first thing we're going to do is, um, we didn't practice our slurs when we had the music on. So we've been doing slur where we do it more than one in a row. So our slur to the left, double step, slur behind, double step, slur behind. Okay, that was two. Let's do the right foot, two slur, right foot. Ready, go. Double step, slur behind, double step, slur behind. Okay, so you keep going. No matter how many I told you to do, you would keep going. Now, we're going to shorten down the, the how many we do. But let's go ahead and put that triple in like we did in our practice before. So two slurs left. Ready, go. Double step, slur behind, double. Do a triple. Now right foot, two slur in a row. And do a triple. All right. Now, so this time what we're going to do is we're going to do just one slur and a basic. So if you start with our left foot, we do one slur, left foot, we go, double step, slur, step. Now do one basic, double step, rock step. So up one slur and one basic. Ready, go, double step, slur behind, double step, rock step. All right, now we're gonna do to the right one slur. So we have double step, slur, step. So you step on the left. Now the right foot, one basic, Slur and a basic to the right. Ready, go. Double step, slur behind, double step, rock step. Okay, so put that together. And instead of me saying one slur, one basic, one slur, one basic, I'm going to say it kind of as a together thing. Slur basic. So left foot, slur basic. Ready, go. Double step, slur behind, and a basic, slur basic. Good. Slur basic. And a basic, slur basic, and a basic. So slur basic, left and right. Um, so that's, and you know, you can kind of think of that too as a lazy vine. So we did our vine where we do a double step behind with a slur. It's kind of the same movement, but you slur behind. So sometimes this is called a slur vine. You might hear that in your clogging wherever you're out, if you're clogging with other groups. So slur basic is what I'll be calling it. Okay, so slur basic, something you already knew, just put together in a different way. Now, our second step, we're going to take the brush that we learned, and we're going to add a basic. So again, we're going to do one thing and one thing. So with your left foot, one brush. Ready? Go. Double step, brush up. Now you're going to do one basic with the right. Double step, rock step. Brush and a basic. Ready? Go. Double step, brush up. Double step, rock step. All right? A couple things are happening here. One, you're starting with the double step, which you always do, almost, <laughs> almost. And you got another double step in the middle. Okay? Second thing is, you come up with the same foot. So once I finish one combination brush and basic, when I go to start over, it's with the same foot again. So most of the steps you've been learning so far, you do you alternate footwork. So this one comes back to the same foot to start again. We call this a forward and back, not because we're moving or backing up like we learned in our other lesson, but because the brush is a forward movement and the basic is a back movement. Brush forward, rock back, double step, brush forward, double step, rock back. Okay, a brush forward, rock back. We actually stay in the same place, we're not moving. Um, this is alternately called a rocking chair or a um, brush and basic. Some, pla some places just call it a brush and basic. So left foot, we call it forward and back. So left foot, we're doing one brush and one rock, one basic. Ready, go. Double step, brush up, double step, rock step. So let's do two or three in a row or a thousand, whatever. We keep coming back to the same foot, forward and back. 
Ready, go. Double step, brush up, double step, rock step. Brush up, double step, rock step. One more. And hold. All right. Now, what you're predominantly going to use, especially in beginner class, is a left foot for the forward and back. Let's go ahead and do the right foot, though, just to make it get ourselves even, teach everything on the other foot. So right foot, you start with your double step and brush with the left. Now your left foot does the basic and you come up with your right foot free. Forward and back, right foot. Ready, go. Double step, brush up, double step, rock step. Double step, brush up, double step, rock step. One more right foot, forward and back and hold right there. All right, so forward and back, slur basic. By the way, our word for this lesson is freestyle. Freestyle. Now what that means is that instead of you dancing to some music where I'm cueing for you what the step is, that you just dance and do whatever steps are in, come out of your head or come out, or your feet do or whatever. So freestyle, and you might hear me say every once in a while, ah, you didn't make a mistake, you were just freestyling, meaning make it up on your own. So freestyle, the name, the word for lesson five, okay? All right, so the last thing we're gonna do is also based on a step you already know, we're just gonna change it around a little bit. So we've done touch up, or we do one run and one single touch right in front. Okay, so that's kind of maybe what I think of as the plain vanilla version. So let's uh, add in some other flavors <laughs> by doing our touch in a different spot. So if I did my double step and I do the touch across in front instead of straight in front, well, we call this a cross touch because you're touching across. Cross touch. So you do the run first. Now touch across in front. As you do the heel click, you kind of let your foot come back to a neutral position straight up. So you instead of cross and then having to pick it up where you're cattywampus, then you're bringing your foot back to a neutral position. Okay, so left foot, cross touch, ready, go. Double step, touch up. Now right foot does the run. We touch across with the left, and as we pick it up, bring it back to the center, okay? As you do several in a row, you'll find that that happens naturally, okay? So cross touches, ready, go. Double step, touch across, double step, touch, click. Double step, touch, click. Double step, touch, click. So your cross touches. Now we're going to keep going and we're going to name the step based on where the touch is. All right, so we're going to do side touch. You can probably guess where we're going to do. So we're going to double step. We're going to touch out to the side. You don't have to reach out far, just kind of where it's comfortable. And as you do the pick up part, then just you're just bringing it back in. And we do the double step, and we do the touch, and we bring it back in. So side touch, left foot. Ready, go. Double step, side touch, double step, side touch, double step, side touch, double step, side touch. All right. I'm going to show you a little variation that some people like to do. It's just a styling difference. But if you leave your toe touching while you do the heel click, you get a slightly different look. So on that one, if you don't pick it up, if you leave it touching, that's okay. Our third touch-up family in the touch-up family is called a reach. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna touch in the back like you did with your rock behind basic, but instead of putting your weight on it, you're gonna touch in back. Now you can touch with your toe like this, Or some people like to touch with the tippy top of their shoe. So a reach left foot, ready, go. 
Double step, reach back, double step, reach back, double step, reach back, double step, reach back. Okay? So cross touch, side touch, reach. Now we've got two more in our touch up family, but these are going to be different. And one, one is different in the way your foot comes up. The other one is different in the part of the foot you use. So our first one is called a heel touch. And you're, what you're going to do is instead of touching your toe, you're going to touch your heel. So if you touch your heel, kind of just right in front where it's comfortable, you don't have to reach out and do it, but right there with your toe pointing up in the air, you're kind of touching the edge, the heel edge of your shoe. Okay, so that's what you're going to use to do your heel touch, and then it's going to come straight up. So we do the run first. Ready? Go. Double step, heel up. Now the right foot, double step, heel up. Okay, so that's a heel touch when you come straight up. Do the run. Ready? Go. Double step, heel up. Double step, heel up. Double step, heel up. All right, the last one is called a chicken. And this one is a regular touch, like your touch up, but instead of coming straight up, what you're gonna do is let your foot kind of swing out to the side, okay? It doesn't have to go straight out sideways because I don't think bodies do that, but it's actually more touch and out to the side and a little bit to the back, okay? So touch and swing it out. And when you do that, the, we just call, we call that a chicken because it kind of looks like, you know, when a chicken is scratching at the, scratching at the dirt, looking for seeds or, or a nice juicy little worm. So we're going to touch and swing it out. And yes, we have several barnyard step names in our repertoire that we'll be getting to. But, but chicken is a touch up with a swing out to the side as your foot comes up. Okay, so let's try it together. Left foot, ready, go. Double step, touch, swing. Double step, touch, swing. Double step, touch, swing. Double step, touch, swing. Okay, so you're kind of leaving your knee there, but let, just letting your foot swing out. <laughs> okay, chicken. So let's do some practicing of all those steps. Uh, let's see here. Um, So we'll let's do, we're going to do forward and back, slur basic, and then our touches. Five, six, basic, go. Two forward and back. Double step, brush up, double step, front step, double step, brush up. Basics. Two forward and back. Double step, brush up, double step, front step, double step, brush up. Triple. Two basics. Two forward and back, right foot. Step, brush up, double step. Forward and back, double step, brush up, double step, drop step, brush up, two triples. Slur basic, one slur and a basic. Slur basic. Basics. Slur basic, double step, slur behind them, a basic. Basics. All right, now let's do all of our touches. Touch up. That's our straight in front. Single touch. Basics. Cross touch. Touch across in front. Double step. Touch across. Double step. Touch across. 
to triple. Four cross touch. Double step. Touch across. Double step. Touch across. Double step. Touch across. Basics. Side touch. Double step. Touch side. Double step. Touch side. Double step. Touch side. Basics. Reach, go behind, double step, reach back, double step, reach back, double step, reach back. Basics. Chickens. Double step, push swing, double step, push swing, double step, push swing. Basics. Heel touches, touch your heel, double step, heel up, double step, heel up, step, heel up, basics, two forward and back, brush and basic, do a vine, double step, behind, double step, back step, basics, and four toe heel, toe heel, toe heel, toe heel, toe heel. All right, good, good, good. Got one of those older steps in there too. Okay, so let's do a couple of practice dances. Um, so the first one we're going to do is going to use that forward and back and vine pattern that we just practiced right at the end there. So starting with your left foot, um, we're going to do rock right and rock left, back to back, two triples, and then two of our forward and back, and vine left and right. So left foot, rock right. Ready? Go. Double step, rock step, rock step, rock left, to the left, extra rocks, two triples. Two forward and back, brush in a basic. One more. Vine left, double step, behind, double step, rock step, double step, behind, double step, rock step. Okay, in this dance we also have the two run, two extra run. Remember we did that in earlier dance, Queen of Memphis. So remember two run is two double steps, and then remember to double step for whatever comes next, which is going to be basics in this dance. So you have a double step to start your basics. All right, um, we're gonna have basics, push off, basic push off. So we're gonna split up our push offs, two basic left foot. Ready, go, basics, push off left. Two basics, right foot. Push up right, four cross touch. You're touching single touch in the front. Basics in place. And hold right there. All right, so that's all the parts. Now this one has a specific ending. Some dances do, some dances don't. Some dances you just dance through until the music is over. This one has a specific ending. We're going to do one triple, and then starting with the right, three basics, and finish with one step. Remember, we did a step. It's kind of like a march. Pick your knee up and step down. So, left foot, one triple. Ready, go. Double one, double two. Basics, we're doing three. One more, one step, and step. And so it's an and, and then you step down on the downbeat. This one's called Chasing That Neon Rainbow. Five, six, two, basics. Push off left. 
with me tonight. Okay. Now one other thing that I'm going to do is um, this beginner class will be posted. My next, the next beginner class, I want to get back to the Sunday. Uh, my beginner class is always at 5 o'clock on Sunday. So the next beginner class will be posted and the ones after that at 5 o'clock on Sundays, okay? And then my fun dance with all the other levels, it's at 6 o'clock. So 5 o'clock on Sundays is the beginner lesson. 6 o'clock is the fun dance. And each week, starting from on this coming Sunday, I will start my fun dance off with one of the dances that you have learned as a beginner. So if you tune in at 6, then the first dance will be one that you've learned. It'll be normal speed that I do it with my group, so you can give it a try and um, see how you do with your speed, okay? All right. So now we're gonna do a dance called Dance With Me Tonight. This one, um, basic triple rock steps where we rock behind, our forward and back. This one's using the slur basic. Okay, so slur basic triples, rock right and rock left with the basics in between. And we're going back to our hillbillies, using our hillbilly in this one. Okay, so this is called Dance With Me Tonight. Two, baby. 
basics. My name is Sally, but you want to triple. G basics. One triple. Rock steps, rock behind. Two forward and back, brush and basic. Slur basic. Slur basic. Two triple. Rock right. Two basic. Rock left. Two basic. Two basic. One triple. Two basic. One triple. Rock steps, rock behind. Two forward and back. Two triple. Two basics. Two hillbilly. Slur basic. Slur basic. Two triple. Rock right. Two basic. Rock left. Two basic. Two triple. Two hillbilly. Two triple. Two hillbilly. Slur basic. Slur basic. Two triple. Rock right. Two basic. Rock left. Two basic. Slur basic. Slur basic. Rock right. G basic. Rock left. G basic. Woo! All right. Congratulations. Lesson five in the can. All right. See y'all next time.